This is the SH Figuarts Black Adam figure, and recently it's left an interesting mark on my collection. It has its fair share of problems, but with impressive attention to detail and more, it's kind of underrated. What's up geeks, Kirk here, and welcome to The Geek Effect. So in 2022, The Rock joined the DC Extended Universe, transforming himself into the anti-hero Black Adam and changing the hierarchy of power. Things will never be the same, because the hierarchy of power in the DC Universe is about to change. Or at least that was his plan until James Gunn hit us all with a refresh. Anyways, the push for this movie was a force to be reckoned with, especially with The Rock involved. And when the film was released, feelings toward it were quite polarizing, with some people enjoying it and others not so much. Um, it's the biggest piece of dog. Usually, when it comes to major comic book films, action figures are not far behind, and in this scenario, McFarlane Toys was ready for their release. But about a month later, Bandai announced they'd be stepping into the ring as well with their own Black Adam figure. When this figure was first announced, there was a lot of excitement, but some people were not as enthusiastic, just like the movie. When I first saw it, I was just surprised they were actually making the figure. It caught my attention as well, but not enough to make me want to buy it day one. It wasn't until reviews and toy photos started coming out that my interest grew. Luckily, the team at Bandai did send this figure to me to review, so let's take a look at this figure. Before we dive into all the details of the figure, we need to get through the fancy packaging. I've reviewed several SH figure arts now on the channel, so a lot of the design choices here feel very familiar, but I'll still mention everything, especially for those of you new to collecting. For starters, I love the theming of the packaging, which seems to take inspiration from Black Adam's suit, with the color scheme being black and yellow. There are also symbols and lightning effects littered all over the front and sides, and the usual things like the movie logo, Tamashi's shiny silly quality, and a shot of The Rock wearing his suit while looking like he's about to bring on a world of pain. You can see the figure through the plastic window shaped like a lightning bolt, and while some may not think much of this, I love the creativity of the window's shape. It definitely gives the packaging some extra character. The box also features several pose examples for this figure, one on the side and the rest at the back of the box. Many of the SH Figuarts boxes I've unboxed have been very slim, but this one has a bit more depth to it due to what's inside. Inside the box, we have this clear tray storing the figure, several accessories to customize the figure's appearance, and Black Adam's cloak which we see him wear earlier in the movie. There was a promo image of this figure using the cloak, but for some reason, they didn't showcase this on the back of the box. I think they should have swapped one of the poses with him wearing his cloak instead, because this is an important piece to mention the figure has. It also wouldn't be a true figure arts experience without their handy instruction manual listing every piece included and how to use them. We'll return to the accessories later, but first, we must change the hierarchy of our collection with this figure. This marks my introduction to SH Figuarts DC figures, and you might be wondering, why choose Black Adam and especially The Rock's rendition? The movie wasn't the greatest, and James Gunn has zero intentions of continuing The Rock's story, or at least that's how it seems for now. Nonetheless, there was something about this figure that drew me in. At first glance, the figure impresses me with its exceptional attention to detail. Just look at the head sculpt, it's undeniably The Rock, complete with his signature eyebrow raise. The sculpting is also truly remarkable, down to the wrinkles at the back of his neck. The figure's body size is good overall, though the upper torso could be a bit broader for a more accurate representation. Also, the shoulder area does sit somewhat low due to articulation cuts, thus ruining the aesthetic of the figure. It looks like they removed parts of the shoulder, and this causes the neck area right here to look as if it's floating, and it's not a good look. Setting those minor gripes aside, everything else is outstanding. The suit's intricate details and textures are captured flawlessly, making it one of the best figure arts I've owned yet. They replicated the weathered and ancient look we saw earlier in the movie with dark areas complemented by traces of gold on his chest symbol, armband, belt, and boots. Despite the upper section's minor issues, this figure still looks pretty amazing. It's not perfect, but I still appreciate a lot of the work that went into the figure's design. Having taken a look at the figure though, let's take a look at the extra things that help this figure stand out. Upon unboxing SH Figuarts Black Adam, you'll find him equipped with a pair of fists and a standard head. However, Bandai includes an impressive array of 11 additional pieces to customize the figure's appearance. These additions include a swappable head with glowing eyes, 
six interchangeable hands, folded arms, alternate pieces for the lightning symbol, and a cloak that has a problem I'll address shortly. By the way, if you are enjoying this review so far, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more action figure goodness. The powered up head is easily interchangeable and looks good, but I do wish they used an angrier expression for the mouth instead of reusing the same facial features from the first head. Slight adjustments like that can make a world of a difference on a figure. The additional hands offer versatility for display, featuring arched fingers, open hands, and relaxed hands, perfect for various poses and actions. For example, these relaxed hands are perfect for smacking some sense into opponents. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Tell them the man in black sent you. Moving on to the folded arms, attaching them involves detaching the articulated arms and connecting the folded arms to the shoulders. While it's a cool feature, some may find the process a bit finicky. Not to mention the right shoulder piece moves more than the left, though this is less of an issue since the arms are meant to stay in this position. For the next set of accessories, we have the alternate symbol pieces, adding more color to the suit. Each of the pieces is molded in a translucent yellow with silver paint underneath. I find this symbol way more appealing than the cheese slice looking symbol from McFarlane's version. You can even replace the top piece again with this one that has lightning effects attached to it. A piece like this is great to have because you can show off some of the character's powers when using the charged up head. But they should have included some other lightning effects for the hand since we see him do that a lot in the movie. Finally, the soft goods cape offers quality material and articulation thanks to an internal wire. However, there are design concerns. The tattered edges appear overly clean compared to the movie's natural weathered look. I'm not particularly fond of this because it looks like someone used craft scissors and called it quits. And then there's the hood problem. Despite the wire inside, it doesn't sit down properly due to the excess fabric at the back, and this is a problem many collectors who bought this figure complain about. When you looked at the promo images that had the hood on, it looked fine, but when you have it in hand, it's a whole nother story. I think I'll be looking into some custom options instead to satisfy my expectations. All in all, the figure's accessories provide exciting customization options. It's just certain design choices, particularly with the cloak, that are bothersome. Something a lot of you have been recommending to add to the reviews is size comparisons. SH Figure Arts Black Adam is about 6.5 inches tall, which makes him taller than a lot of the characters I'll show beside him. Kicking things off, we have Black Adam next to SH Figure Arts Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man. Next, we have him beside SH Figure Arts The Amazing Spider Man. Bringing in some anime action, we have SH Figure Arts Son Goku Superhero. And wrapping it up, we have the Mafex Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame. Hopefully this does give you an idea of how this figure looks beside other characters in your collection, but now let's see how it holds up to the final test. Articulation makes or breaks an experience with an action figure, and this one is alright. It's not the worst thing ever, but there are a few things I wish were better. Starting from the top, here is everything you can expect. Rotation and tilt in the head, plus movement at the neck. The joint in the neck lets you tilt the head this far back and forth, and this far side to side. But the problem here is the tight dumbbell joint which makes the base of the neck move first and still leaves you adjusting the head which you wanted to do in the first place. Both Black Adam's arms can raise this high, cross over the chest with butterfly joints, and rotate at the shoulder and bicep. They also have double jointed elbows and wrists with swivel and tilt. For the midsection of articulation, there's a diaphragm cut and waist cut on a ball joint. This allows for some excellent tilt going back, but when crunching him forward, I do wish there was a little bit more range. Also, the symbol piece at the bottom will start to pop out if you push forward too much. This seems to be more of a problem for the original piece that was on the figure rather than the alternate one. The leg articulation is as expected, but there are a few limitations. The legs can be raised to this height but the right side is restricted by the belt piece and they also move outwards as you lift them due to the parts covering the gaps. But there is a solution to the problem. Around the time everyone got this figure, I watched a D Amazing video in which he recommends removing these extra pieces by popping off the legs to improve the range of motion. Doing this actually works in your favor, giving you access to the drop down joints and a better range of thigh swivel. Making our way down the rest of the leg, there are double jointed knees and ankles on a ball joint giving you some decent range and toe pivot. You don't get a lot of side tilt from the ankles due to the design of his boots, which may be a problem when posing. Speaking of posing, there is potential to recreate shots from the movie and freestyle with things reminiscent of the character's style. And these are just some of the poses I whipped up. You're familiar with the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, right? Well, that's true when it comes to this particular action figure. 
When I watched Black Adam for the first time, my initial impression was, it's not great, but I had an absolute blast watching it. That's precisely how I felt following my experience with this figure. Certain design choices for this figure did raise an eyebrow, like the shoulder and cloak aspects. However, despite these issues, my enjoyment exceeded my expectations. If you're looking for a detailed 112 scale Black Adam figure that captures the rock portrayal and touches Hot Toys quality, this is an excellent choice, especially since it may be some time before Mafex releases their version. And let's not forget the potential for some humorous figure memes with that epic head sculpt. Okay, that may not be the primary reason to get this, but it's still a bonus. In all sincerity, I believe that the SH Figure Arts Black Adam figure is still a worthwhile addition to any collector's lineup, especially if you're a fan of DC and you happen to still like the DC Extended Universe even with it going away. However, collecting action figures is a subjective endeavor and individual preferences vary. I'm genuinely interested in hearing your thoughts on it, so please feel free to share in the comments and we can talk more about this figure. That's everything I have to say about this figure for now, so stay tuned to the Geek Effect for more action figure goodness, and I'll catch you all soon. Peace. This here is not a movie. Strong team, we gon' kick it to the roof, kick.